Hey guys, I'm Mario and in this video you're gonna learn how to draw this circular geometric pattern. Let's go! You'll only need any kind of sketchbook, here I'm using a dotted one, but it can be blank or any other type, and then a pencil, a black fine liner, and a black marker. First, you're gonna draw circles of different sizes with a pencil in order to fill up the space. These circles have to be interconnected and this area in the middle that they share that they have in common has to be quite big, like they have to be really connected and not just barely connected. Then, with a pencil, you have to create rings from the circles. These bands can be wider or narrower, but make sure there's still a gap in between because they shouldn't completely overlap. This next step is the key, so you have to be a bit careful to get this interconnection effect right. With a fine liner you have to trace over the rings. Going one by one, the bands have to go over or below the others alternatively every time they intersect. Let me explain. You start with one ring and when you arrive to an intersection you make it go over it. You continue drawing and in the next intersection it goes below, in the next one it goes over, and so on. If you repeat this process all the rings will be perfectly connected. Now you have to fill in all the background using a solid color. I use black because I wanted a lot of contrast but you can use any other color. This black marker is a Sakura Pigma brush if you are interested. Fill in everything but the rings and continue to the next step. The story behind this pattern is that I created it for the Inktober 2020 challenge. The prompt was armor and I was inspired by chain mails and these interesting patterns they create with connected circular elements. I just changed a bit the dimension of these elements to make it more dynamic, but the concept was the same. This step is the final touch. 
you are going to draw curved segments on both sides of every intersection, but only in the ring that goes below, not in the one that goes over. So it creates kinda like a shadow. These curved segments can be longer or shorter as you want. You can try different methods for these shadow effects. For example, dots or lines in a different direction. Just experiment and have fun with it. Ok, so now you've finished the pattern. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and you enjoyed the process. You have my Instagram link below in case you wanna try and tag me because I would love to see it. Have a great day, bye!